Hello, I'm Dr. Rhonda Johnson. October 19th through 25th marks International Lead Poisoning Prevention Week. Lead is a very toxic metal that can build up in the body and cause lifelong harm, especially in young children. Folks, there is just no safe level of lead exposure. In 2021 alone, Lead poisoning caused about 1.5 million deaths worldwide, and half of those were in children under five. See, lead can still be found in some surprising places, in old house paint and house dust, water from lead pipes, polluted soil, and even smoke from burning materials that contain lead. But today, one of the biggest hidden sources is food. Here in the United States, lead has been found and some imported spices, such as ground cinnamon, there's an alert now about ground cinnamon from foreign countries containing lead, some candies, some protein powders, and even recalled applesauce pouches. And certain imported cookware can leach lead into the food during cooking. So what are the signs of lead poisoning? Well, initially lead poisoning can be hard to detect. Even people who seem healthy, can have very high blood levels of lead. Now, signs and symptoms don't usually appear until dangerous amounts of lead have accumulated. And in children, these signs can be irritability, and that can be a lot of crying, loss of appetite, weight loss, sluggishness and fatigue, anemia, abdominal pain, vomiting, constipation, hearing loss, and seizures, and also learning problems. But there's good news. There's things that we can do to protect ourselves and our families. Number one is check the FDA website for food recalls. Also buy spices and products sold in the United States whenever possible. And be careful with imported candles, candies, and cookware. And stay informed because prevention starts with awareness. So the more you know about lead, the more you can prevent exposure. That's my message today. It's Tuesday, October 20th, 2025. Take care. Please share this message and be well.